All right, I've got a message saying check my box. So let's see if there's anything out here. More wonderful wind, yay! Means I don't get to paint again today. Well, it's open. Oh man, oh man. And you guys will understand the excitement when I tell you who it's from. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So glad each and every single one of you could be here. You know how I am. I love all you guys and gals. Thank you for coming. Yep, you got it. Another mail time video. This was a little bit different though. We're going to have some fun with this one. Now, <laughs> The reason I'm going to have a little bit of fun with this one is because, you know, he's a super great guy and everything, and I know he wouldn't mind, but um, you, you've all seen him, you've all heard about him, he's, he's all over the, the internet as far as diecast is and everything. Been in the military, thank you so very much for your service. You know, without people like you, doing stuff like this wouldn't be possible. I mean, we wouldn't get to enjoy what we enjoy, right? We just wouldn't get to, we wouldn't get to... Would have somebody tell them, no, you can't have a hot wheel. No, you can't go to the store. No, you can't go to work. No, you can't leave your house. No, you can't even own a house. No, you can't wear black. No, you can't wear white. You know how that is. But with all that stated, this box is from the one, the only, the great, and let's have a round of applause for him, the one and only Mustang Hunter. What is up guys welcome back to the channel now technically his channel name is mustang hunter diecast which that's all cool and everything i just love calling him mustang hunter it, it fits him better yes he likes mustangs but he loves all hot wheels he's always super super ecstatic when he gets something new whenever somebody sends him something whenever somebody talks to him about something you could tell in his live streams he's just super amped up and happy about life in general and that 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 comes through the, the screen and grabs you and, and shakes you and wants you to be alive, right? So thank you. I really appreciate it. So without further ado, I didn't even know he's going to send something. The way that I even got this package is he contacted me. I did a, a pig hunt video and I showed the... I got one laying over there. I'm not going to go way over there and get it. I showed the, the 55 gasser in a video. The what, pearl and chrome or pearl and gold, I think it is, set. And he contacted me and said, "Man, I so need them. I so need one of those." So I contacted him back, asked him how many of he needed. He said he needed two: one for the one for his collection and one to customize. So I was like, "Okay, cool. I got you. I, I've got one in my collection, which I actually had two. I didn't know it I, as I pulled his, the one that I was going to send him off my pegs." I seen the other one, so I, I went and got the one that he saw in the video, sent him to him, and, you know, he was super happy, but that's how he got my address. He never contacted me for my address or anything like that, because I sit around, he never asked me my address, how's he know where to send it to, because he sent me a message in one of the videos saying, check your mailbox soon, keep an eye on your mail, you got a box coming, I was like, how, why, what did I do to deserve a box from the great Mustang Hunter diecast? But anyhow, long story short, here it is. I have no idea what's in this thing. And if you ever get a package from him, you just really, really never know what's in it. And sure, he might trade you something, but there's always one or two extra in it. So, and I'm not saying there's one in here. I'm not saying there's ten in here. It might be a t-shirt. I don't know. It might be a, a a box of grocery bags. There's a prank. Who knows in this day and world? But we're going to find out. I've got a special letter opener for this one today. This is my my old Gerber knife that I used to carry all the time. Look at that bad boy. But we're going to use it open now, so let's get to it. Now, before I open this, I'm going to tell you, it's pretty cool, the, the town or city, however you want to look at it, that he lives in. I'm not going to tell you the state or any of that stuff, but the name of the town, I hope you don't mind me saying this, because the box itself is this. It's a surprise. And 
you get enough out of what I just said to know what town he lives in. So let's get this bed boy open up. I gotta put on my CNI dogs because I can't see. Packaged up very nicely, of course. And I'm just gonna rip that right on off. I'm gonna save that address because one day you're gonna get a surprise. I've been thinking about something I was going to do for everybody. Not one person, not two people, but everybody I can, you know. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it's something that I have mentioned in some of my other videos and stuff. Something that I want to do. And I was sitting there thinking last night, laying in bed. And I normally don't do this, but for some reason I was doing it last night. I'm laying in bed thinking about this person likes this car, this person likes that car. And something came to me for you no you're not going to have one most people don't have one but let me get it worked out i gotta get my skill set a little better to to accomplish what i want to do but you'll see excuse me but here we go let's see they signed something off got her all packed up with some newspaper i love newspaper i get to see what's going on in other people's world so i'll be unraveling this checking it out really cool now i have no idea what's here all i see is some stuff wrapped up and bubble wrap and everything so i'm just going to take them as they come i hope you don't mind hope there wasn't no particular order he's got this one i can see it's red oh and i can see the first i can see the front end of it so we're going to see what this bad boy is and roll it oh wow Sweet man, get out of my table. Third gen. Look at that bed board. That is super nice. I don't have a lot of third gen, so I am super glad you sent this. I've, I've got a lot of fifth gens, a lot of sixth gens, and a lot of first gens, as you can imagine. And, I, and I'm starting to gain on the second gen, but I have. Two third gens now. One that I bought off eBay for 99 cents, and then the Matchbox one that Andre sent me, and then the, the M2 cases. But anyhow, other than that, look at that. Man, that's nice. And I'm checking this one out real good because set up like a race car and everything, and it's a, it says 1983, so I'm assuming this is a 1984 release. But if you look at the bottom of it, I guess that's part of the stuff that had to do with it being a race car. Like fuel lines and pumps and all that stuff. Not not quite too sure, but man, I really like that. Thank you. Alright, I want the next one. Got another one in here rolled up. Wow. I can see parts of it. I'll show you that. And I'll show you that. And this one's weighty, as Mark would say. This one's just begging to come out. All that horsepower, so I'm just gonna do it real nice and gentle. Look at that bad boy. That's a pretty color too. That is super nice, man. Thank you. Look at the detail on that bad boy. And this is a Jada toy or big time muscle, I think is what they call it. That is, man. Look at the difference in size too. Now everybody in the grandma knows Hot Wheels really is a 164. This is this is closer to a 164 than that is. But look at the size difference. I mean, <laughs> man, thank you. Wow, that green and gold is beautiful. I might have to paint one of mine up green, special flame with gold stripes. Got two more. Make sure there's nothing in the bottom box. And next up, we have the ID Copo Camara. And look at this bad boy. Another Spectra Flame paint job. That thing is... I want to thank you for this because I have one. I'm not going to lie. You know, some people get upset when you say you have this one or whatever. But in this case... I'm going to tell you that I have it because now I can set it free. I've been wanting to open one of these bad boys, but I've only got one. 
and I'm one of those guys that likes to keep stuff, you know, that I really like, protected and everything, and then when I get another one, set it free. So that's exactly what's going to happen to that bad boy. Thank you. And last up. Oh, wow. It's another M2. And it's another third gen. Look at that. Good year. Ain't that sweet? Man, yeah. Right on. Goodyear used to be my choice of tires. Them and their executive decisions that they made recently within the last year has made me switch tire brands, but I still have Goodyears on my red car. But look at that bad boy. Uh, 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 uh. And their packaging just looks great. Their whole their whole Goodyear signage and everything. Just wonderful. Wow, man. Thank you. You couldn't have picked four better cars to send me, man. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Hmm. Let's show you. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to hit you. Show you what we got again real quick. I'm going to turn you around. Trying to set me up a little work here. Hopefully, eventually, I hope to be able to save up enough money to get me the paint booth. And then, like, whenever I use your things or something that's real smelly or what, I can pump it out the window right there. But anyhow, this was my work area that I'm setting up. As you can see, I got a custom going on there, custom going on there. And then these two cars that are hard to find, I got sitting here. I was going to send them in the box of goodies to Mark, but that box is full. I got no room for them, so those are going to go back in the collection. But anyhow, here's what that Mustang Hunter diecast sent us. I mean, just look at that. For somebody to take the time to want to send you something like this, just means so much, guys. I mean, I don't know how to put it in words, but wow. That is a cool paint job. I just really like that. That is real nice. But that's what we got from Mustang Hunter Diecast, buddy. I really do appreciate it. And I'm not going to tell you when. I'm not going to tell you what. But look for a box coming your way. If, you know, I'm not even going to tell you when I send it. I'm just going to send it. It's going to be a surprise to you. So, you know what I say, guys. You know, this this is wonderful. For somebody to take time just to say here, you know, unselfishly say, here you go, buddy, enjoy. And not ask for anything in return. It's so great. It is. Because let's face it, shipping is not cheap. He paid $9.10 to send these four cars to me. Yes, it's priority, but that ain't the point. $9.10 to ship four cars is outrageous. And with that said, I'm going to leave you with that. I'm going to put this bad boy up so I don't lose some very 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 valuable fluids and we'll see you in the next video i hope you enjoyed this video be sure to go check out his channel mustang hunter diecast super great guy like i said <laughs> he's lots of fun he's always energetic and just an overall great guy thank you so very much for watching we'll see you in the next one get out there and hunt those cars you don't hunt you don't find thanks